So here's an update to the video I covered a couple days ago, all about the young guy who thought he was in a great relationship until his girl out of the blue asked about having an open, open relationship. And of course, after he came to his senses, he says, no, we're done kicking her out. And of course, she loses her mind, starts to gaslight, and tries to get her friends to do that. And lo and behold, finds out that in fact, yes, she was cheating on him. And again, backed up why the girl brings up the open relationship or of marriage, it's over. Because either they're already cheating or they're planning on it. And no girl that loves their guy would ever do that. End of freaking story. Title. Girlfriend asked for open relationship to help us grow furious when I told her pack her crap. So he continues on with his story. He says, uh, hello, y'all. Says, my last post got so much attention, I thought some of you lovely gentle women and dudes would like to know how the last two days have gone. Let me guess, it's Drama Central. Well, my phone was blowing up with texts from Rose, her sister, and her best friend. Shocker. Despite, I didn't respond to Rose a single time. However, I stupidly responded to the others for a little bit. Smack! That's what they wanted, jackass. What you should have done is blocked them all. They're trying to gaslight you into feeling bad taking her back. Don't give them the drama. You all probably know what was said. Throwing away the relationship over something minor, yada yada. I did have a laugh at her BFF telling me I'm a bitch for not fighting for my relationship, and clearly I didn't care about her if I left that easy. So, these girls are making him out to be the bad guy because he's breaking up with his girlfriend who was cheating on him. He is not fighting for the relationship, even though she was cheating on him. If anybody ruined the relationship and didn't fight for it, it's the girl that was cheating on the guy. And they're like, well, you clearly didn't care about her because you're not fighting for her, and that's why she cheated. Some stupid gaslighting BS like that. It's amazing. This is right out of the hoe bag handbook. So I, and I don't know what he's talking about here, he says, so I dikembre mutumbo their asses. I have no idea what the hell that means. I took Sunday to try and not fall into a horrible pit of despair and self-loathing by watching some ball and playing Zelda. Zelda. That was one of my favorite games as a child in the original Nintendo. You guys would be proud of me. I haven't had a single drop of alcohol since the crap went down. Today was the day I worked on some stuff. I packed up her stuff, had a buddy drop it over her place, and he sent me a photo of it that he just left on top of her car. I thought that was pretty funny. Some of y'all were worried about me reaching out to people. The people I'm actually concerned with knowing are aware of everything. I finally got the balls to call my mom, was filled with shame, and had a hard time calling her. <clears throat> well, you know what? Yeah, it's embarrassing to admit that your girlfriend cheated on you and all that, but you know what? If you don't control the narrative, she's going to. So it's good he told people what happened, because otherwise she could paint the picture saying he cheated on her. How do I know? Because I've done stories like that. I even sent a text to Rose's parents informing them on my side of what happened just in case she spread some fibs. Guarantee you she spread some fibs. Some uh, straight up lies, fabrications, you get the, y'all get the idea. Then, uh, then Rudy Gobert their asses too. I didn't want to touch, uh, I did want to touch on one thing. Some of y'all were convinced in my first post that my friend who didn't like Rose was the one she was having a hypothetical situations with. I would be generally shocked and more shocked than finding out Rose is a cheater. He lived about five hours away and only met her once. He also He's also engaged, which doesn't necessarily mean he couldn't cheat, I guess, but I would be very, very surprised. The support of y'all have given me has been overwhelming, but I appreciate every comment and message. I think I'm a long way from feeling good again, but you guys have helped me believe that's something I can feel again someday. Honestly, would be surprised if I update again. But I thought I'd give you a little bit of an update to anyone who was interested. Thanks, y'all. Well, bro, I appreciate the update. And I'm, I'm sorry it happened to you. That sucks. I mean, really. Many of us have been cheated on. It happened to me once. And believe me, I never forgot that. <clears throat> we did the right thing. And I'm not all surprised that she and her girlfriends are bombarding you with texts and make you have to be the villain here. Block them all. Do not engage with them. That's what they want. You'll probably get some other texts from phone numbers you don't recognize. Ignore them, too. Just block them. She may even show up. I don't think she's done yet. She'll probably show up at your house next, crying and begging and pleading. She'll probably say she left a shoe or some fucking lipstick at your house to get you to, to come over to your place. Don't talk to her. have nothing to do with her. And block her on social media, too. But this is how they operate. 
you know? And again, these open relationships, she was cheating on him. End of story. Now some comments before I wrap this up. One guy says here, tell her friends, tell her and her friends, this is this is just a hypothetical breakup. As hypothetical as her sleeping with another guy before asking for an open relationship. And to their friends calling you a bitch, why would they want their friend, your ex, date a bitch? Case closed. There you go. Another one. If the BFF has a boyfriend or husband, let him know how much she is in favor of open relationship and no problem with cheating. Maybe he should do some snooping. Cheaters usually have friends with for alibis. Yeah, this guy should tell the boyfriends or husbands of her sister and girlfriends are bombarding you about this whole thing. Because I guarantee you they do the same thing. Another one. It is always like this. The people on the cheater side are saying that uh, the one who was cheated on threw away the relationship. Giving up too easy, etc. What about the cheater in this case? She gave up the moment she chose to be someone else. You've not done anything wrong here and there is nothing you should be blamed for. I bet she would have left you in one second or if you had done the same thing. You will recover. It might take some time, but you'll get to the point where there's no pain. Your future is good. Yeah, he will get over it, but he I think he said he was like with her for two and a half years. That's not small. He's young. It's going to take time, but I suggest he spends time hanging out with people that care about him, getting out of the house, not dwelling on her, and take it one day at a time, even one hour at a time if you, if you got to. Exercise, do the hobbies and interests you like, and then time you will. And eventually, because he's obviously a relationship guy, They'll start hooking up with other chicks or chick and make sure that she's better looking than your ex just to piss her off. Uh, one more. This guy says, I'm glad you're handling this really good. Also, I'm proud of you for not numbing the pain with alcohol. You can now start the healing process. Her sister and her friend were trying to gaslight and manipulate you into saying, staying with her because it probably encouraged her from the start and told her she deserves to have some fun. All you can do now is take care of yourself and focus on your job and healing. But don't jump straight into a new relationship right away. Take that time to heal and move on. Yes. Yes. That's generally what women do. They'll jump from one relationship to the other. They usually have the guy lined up before they break up with the guy. So they never have to deal with the emotions and hurt and everything. And they don't fix anything. But guys, some guys do that too. Take your time. Start with casual dating and, and a hookup to get your confidence back. Then you can try another serious relationship, but not... Not right away. You will have the trust issues. And you don't want to F up a good thing because you weren't ready. Good luck. Well, there you go. And I hope in the future this guy is uh, the wiser and better at selecting gals for his girlfriend. Take a long time, six months minimum, to agree to a committed exclusive relationship. Make her work for it. Don't jump into it too quickly. Otherwise, the gals will think they they have you. So many guys will see a pretty girl and immediately want to lock her down, jump into your relationship. And she's like, well, that's easy. I have to work that hard for him. And she won't appreciate him. But the gals that really appreciate the guys they have to work to get. And if a girl says, and, and this is for all you guys out there, if a girl says pretty much, if you don't give me a commitment after like three freaking dates or one month of dating or two or whatever, in a time frame that you yourself are not happy with, and they're going to walk away, let them walk. Because you can always replace them. And the odds are, you let them walk, they'll come back. Probably a test. That's what you do. So anyhow, good luck, and I appreciate you writing in. Well, you know what? He didn't write in. I appreciate you posting your story, and we can I can videotape, and I can comment this, and uh, help other guys out. 